How can you succeed in your career in this new year 22? This career success formula is based in four steps. The first step, keep. The second step is improve. The third step is stop. And the fourth step is to start. Now, in the previous video, we learned about the first step, which was about to keep doing work that is aligned with your values. For example, keep doing the things that you that really matter to you. Uh, you, you need to keep doing work that begin that brings more joy, more fulfillment to you. Uh, keep doing work that is aligned with your strengths, the things that you are good or great at, and also to keep doing work that brings a lot of money to you, not just low value money, but keep doing work that is well paid. And we also learn in step number one, which is was to keep that this step includes three tools. The first tool was uh, VOPA, which is about values, outcome, purpose, and action. Uh, the second tool was about using the focus formula, which is about following one course until successful while being flexible. This was about the idea that we need to pursue one career goal at a time instead of doing many things at the same time. And then the third tool was the five E's of career success, which is uh, energy, engagement, excellence, ethic, and earn. And then the fact is that the more you engage in what you are good or great at, and the more you make sure you're following good, uh, good moral ethics and principles, the more money you will make over time, and also the more energy you will feel. That's a fact. So these are the first steps we learned in the previous, we, uh, previous video. Now, let's go through the second step, which is to improve. So, what do you want to improve in your career this year? I'm sure like mo most people, you want to improve and get better in your career too. And you also want to earn more money. But as my mentor, Jim Ron, one of the best motivational career coach in the world once said that, once said that for your life to get better, you have to get better. For your life to improve, you need to improve. Because if you don't get better, you won't get better. That's as simple as that. Okay, that's, so that's the second step, which was to improve. But how do you get better? How can you improve? Before answering this question, let me ask you, what specifically you want to improve this year in your career or job? Make sure you are specific because sometimes you are too broad. We tend to generalize things and we don't know specifically what we want. So do you want to make more money? How much exactly, how much money is that you want to make? Or do you want to experience more joy, more fulfillment? What do you want? Or maybe you want, more, uh, you want to make more money and also you want to experience more joy, more fulfillment. Well, if that is the case, just make sure you're specific and right now get a pen and write down exactly what you want. Be specifically, be specific. For example, myself, one thing I want to improve this year is to double my income and also to reduce my expenses because we know that uh, as a result of this COVID-19, uh, life is becoming more expensive. Everything is more expensive. So if you want to keep up with your career success and earn more money, you need to make sure that you keep earning more money, but also at the same time, keep reducing your expenses. How do you do that? How, do you, how can you improve your, your career or how can you double your income? Well, if I want to double my income, then I need to do two things. The first one I need to do is to improve my skills by upskilling myself, learning new things, learning new skills. And the second thing I need to do is to get new tools or resources. So if I want to double my income this year, 
my strategy could be to get the following tools. The first tool would be the RPE method. So the R in this method stands for review, the P stands for plan, and then the, the E stands for execute. And then the second tool is SWOT. This is about uh, doing a SWOT analysis in your career. SWOT stands for stems, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. We are going to talk about these tools in a moment. And the third tool is about using the smarter system. So the tool number one, which is the RPE method, review, plan, execute. Review means that you are going to analyze when, 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 uh, what went wrong and what went right last year. Then after you analyze uh, what went wrong and what went right, you need to make sure that you create a plan and stick to this plan. Now this plan needs to be an effective and you need to also to include things like setbacks and failures. I found out that most people don't plan for failures and setbacks. And I know that failures and setbacks is actually what makes you stronger. So make sure you plan for failures and setbacks because failures is just a part of life, isn't it? And then you need to execute. Execution is key here because without ruthless execution, you won't make more money or you won't get to the next level in your career. So make sure you use this first tool to take your career to the next level. First, review what went wrong and when, uh, what went right last year, and then plan effectively. Uh, make sure you do a, your plan is flexible and uh, motivates you. And then make sure you execute this plan. Don't just keep your plan in paper. Take action, take consistent and deliberate action. And then we have the second tool, which is, which is about the SWOT analysis. Now, have you heard of the SWOT analysis? This is a very powerful tool, okay? So to use if you want to take your career to the next level and assess your, your skills and knowledges. So S is strengths, um, W is weaknesses, O is opportunities, and T are threats. So for example, as you can see, um, if you want to improve this in your career, one way to do is improve your strengths. Strengths are the things you are good or great at. For example, you can get new qualification or certifications, uh, you can get engaged in new projects or campaigns to improve your skills, okay? And then you have weaknesses. This is about um, lacking the skills or the tools. So if you are doing a job, you don't have, maybe don't have the skills or the tools to, to do this job. And because of this, you're gonna be limited. Or maybe you have bad habits holding you back from taking your career to the next level. Okay, or maybe it's your communication skills. Um, for example, myself, one of the things I'm trying to improve, one of the things I need is a must for me to get better is my communication skills. Because poor communication skills, it won't allow you to get more money because you need to make sure that people understand your message and people are getting motivated with your message. Now, opportunities is about identifying opportunities in your job or in your career to achieve your, your next level much faster. So for example, check if there is any significant change or, or advancement, advancement in your in industry that you can take advantage of. Is there is any new opportunity or any um, opportunity for career progression in your, in your career or in your job. If there is a new position, you can take advantages of this opportunity and get more money and also 
um, to achieve more joy and fulfillment. And then we have threats. So what is threats about? As you can see, threat is about things that can actually um, hold you back from getting more money, achieve more fulfillment and joy in your career. Okay, so these are things that can hurt your career advancement. So you need to identify them and take action to manage and eliminate, eliminate them. And then we have the third tool, which is the smarter system. So when you use the system massively, increase your chances of achieving your career goal this year. So what is this system about? This system is about taking your career to the next level faster than you ever imagined. I'm sure you, you've heard about the, the SMART acronym, but SMART acronym uh, is not good enough because this doesn't give you the whole picture uh, about how to take your career to the next level. With this system, you'll definitely get to the next level in your career much faster than you, than you ever reached before. And the first, the first step is specific. Specific um, is about being specific, okay? Don't be too broad. Don't set too broad career goals like many people do. So always ask yourself, is your career goal narrow enough, specific enough? For example, if you want to uh, double your income, don't just say, I want to double my income this year. Uh, say, for example, I want to double my income from 2,000 pounds to 4,000 pounds by the end of December 2023. Okay, be specific, don't be too broad because that won't motivate you. Ask yourself, can I change my goal so it can present a percentage of goal completion or success rates? Because you want to be measuring your goal. For example, um, if you go for a jog uh, uh, most of the times of the week um, and in a week have seven days, right? So if you went to the park two times in a week, so which means you achieve uh, two out of seven, so when you convert two out of seven um, in percentage, you can calculate exactly how much you got in percentage. And then you can say, okay, I need to improve or I have to reduce. You can use a calendar to measure, okay? For example, this year I'm on track to achieve my goal because last year I've been procrastinating and I wasn't measuring the qualities of my videos or how, I update my videos. So make sure you're measuring your outcome, okay? Because this gives you the success rate, which is about exactly the, the amount of in percentage you are, you, you are far away or close of your goals. And then we have actionable. Action, does my goal provide me or give me a concrete action image? So most goal setting systems are not, are not specific, they're too broad, they're not, they're not concrete. So you need to be concrete, you need to be specific when, uh, when you want to achieve a goal. And then risky. Ask yourself, does my goal challenge my limiting beliefs? You must be setting up challenging and stretching goals, goals that challenge you, not just goals that you feel like, oh, this goal is easy to do because otherwise you won't um, challenge yourself. You won't achieve harder things or you won't uh, achieve big things in life. And then T is time cute and triggered. Do you have a deadline or a clear action trigger? Now, this is probably one of my biggest weakness so far because most of the time I set goals, but I don't set a deadline. And because of this, I tend to take ages till I finish a goal. So make sure your goal has a deadline. And then we have exciting. Do you have two powerful reasons why you want to complete these goals? If you don't have a reason, the truth is that you won't keep taking action. So make sure you have two powerful reasons why you want to complete this goal. 
okay? And then you have relevance. Is this goal relevant to my current phase in life? Make sure your goal is, um, is related to what you are at the moment. For example, imagine you are a, a woman who um, just have a baby and you want to start doing some jogging. Probably it's not a good idea to jog as you just have a baby. So you need to make sure that the goal is, um, is related to your current stage in life, okay? So let's do a quick recap about the video. If you, so if you want to improve in your career this year, you need to get new skills or new tools. For example, you can use the RP tool, which is uh, to review and then plan and then execute your goal. You can use the SWOT career analysis tool, which is, um, which is about strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. You can assess where you are, assess your strengths, assess your weaknesses, opportunities, or for career progression, or any threats that is limiting your career. Or you can even use the smarter system to keep you on track with your goals. It's up to you. So which one of these tools you are going to use from today? Are you going to use the RPE tool or are you going to use the, um, the smarter system? Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Then leave a comment below so I can improve on my channel.